we've gone through the the great lockdown um, and people reevaluated their priorities and uh, they then we went we're going through the great resignation um, and there are many different names for it you know great quit uh, great reshuffle I think it's just people thinking their priorities in life uh, and at the same time you know economy coming out of that difficult moment although we are in uh, crisis uh, you know in, in several parts of the world so crisis never stops right so this, uh, so the the opportunity that you have is in this difficult environment organizations can come out of it they can not only be resilient and survive this you know the, the continuous crisis or the the different crises that happen will actually come out better at the end of it and i think the uh all it all it takes is leadership now leadership of course is is, is difficult it's hard uh, you need the people you need the, the people to put in your teams to deliver your your uh, digital products and services uh, and that is also a challenge um, everybody's trying to hire at the same time uh, i was just reading some news today that there are uh, the, the jobless claims uh, in America were out of the lowest in 52 years. Uh, right. And that's generally for the whole population. You know, guess what? There are uh, software engineering positions, software engineering roles, product management roles, roles like that are even harder to staff now uh, than before. So um, in that environment, it's, it's paramount that we create, uh, that, that leaders create uh, a great employee value proposition so they can attract, develop and retain people, uh, the right people they need to, uh, to deliver their mission critical priorities. I just talked to a friend yesterday, Akis, who said to me, who took a new job and I said, how's the new job? And he said, I don't like the job very much, but the culture is great at this company. Right. <laughs> I thought, right. I thought, well, there you go. Right. Um, right. Right. And, and this and so, you know, let let's focus on that talent aspect a bit more, because one of your sessions in the summit is on attracting, developing and retaining engineering talent in particular. Mm -hmm. I'd love to hear what trends you've been seeing in the past year when it comes to attracting uh, great engineering talent. So um, engineers are humans like everyone else. So I think we, sometimes we tend to forget that people are not resources, right? Um, we tend to treat them as resources. So uh, they've got some uh, some priorities in their life. I think the the difference from what organizations were trying to do before than what they, they need to be doing now is look at this human aspect. Um, and what we and, and we have a set of recommendations there around building a human deal, uh, which is not just about paying people a bit more and, you know, giving them the nice tools and maybe giving them some cool technology, which is all important for engineers, but actually providing a great environment, looking at providing holistic benefits, uh, looking at them as humans, you know, humans with uh, families, with uh, children, maybe with uh, their own priorities outside work. And, you know, now that uh, a lot of uh, work is happening outside the office, uh, it's more important that we provide this holistic support uh, and as leaders would not only uh, give them a nice uh, office environment, but give them support in the whole in the daily life. You know, for example, um, radical flexibility in the way they work. We see more organizations now going to, uh, the, to, uh, to, to policies that allow people to work when, wherever they want, whenever they want, with whomever they want, on what they want. Now, this may sound radical or it maybe sound, sound radical to somebody 10 or 20 years ago, but it's absolutely necessary if you want to keep your best people. Um, in my career, I've seen many great people leaving organizations uh, because they didn't have that flexibility. They were not growing. They did not have anywhere to go after you know, that, that position they were having. And they did not have a great environment. And it's not only about the money. Um, it's also about, um, like, like, like your, your friend, how the well they feel in the organization what's the purpose are we all a part in this right so it's um it's absolutely crucial and i think the organizations that do it well will get a competitive advantage 